When you think of a real man, do you think of someone like this? But is that really true? Do you need to have money and muscles to be a real man? According to the true way of seeing reality, Islam. Let's find out. I'm Amin and I wrote this book to find out what it takes to be a real man according to Allah and his Prophet You might think that a Muslim man should be skinny, overweight or broke. And the truth is somewhere in the middle. So let me explain. So firstly, how was the Prophet He's the true, real man that we aspire to be like, right? He was not overweight and he was not super skinny. And when it comes to money, he was not rich whatsoever. In fact, he chose a life of poverty. So that's the Prophet What about the companions, the people that surrounded the Prophet and learned from him and took his advice and guidance directly. Well, first you have companions like Abdurrahman bin Auf, Uthman bin Affan, who were extremely rich and they spent that money on the Muslims. And then you have companions like Abu Huraira who were really poor and they actually just lived in the masjid. They didn't have anywhere to live because they just moved from Mecca to Medina and they had nothing much going for them. So that's on the money side. On the muscle side, you have people like Ali, like Khalid bin Walid, who were very strong warriors for the sake of Allah. But then equally, you have people like Abdullah bin Mas'ud, who was quite skinny and so skinny that when he climbed the tree and the companions could see his legs, they actually laughed at him how skinny he was. So we actually find examples of people who are poor and people who are rich and people who are skinny and people who are very built and strong. We have all examples. So you can't say that any of these examples we gave are not real men. They're more men than we will ever be, which shows that you don't need money or muscles to be a real man, according to Allah and his messenger. However, generally, it's good to have money in order to support yourself, support your family, give to the da'wah, give to charity, develop society and the ummah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Verily, Allah loves the slave who is righteous, independent and obscure. Independent meaning he doesn't need to go and ask people for help. He's got enough money, he's all right. So if it's used in the right way, money is a good thing. It's a tool which can be used for a good thing, but it's not something that you should get for the sake of it. If you spend it on too many luxuries that distract you from the akhirah and make you focus and love the dunya too much, then it will be your downfall. But if spent in the right way, then yeah, it's a good thing. And it's also generally good to be strong and healthy. The Prophet ﷺ said, the strong believer is more beloved to Allah than the weak believer, and there is good in both of them. This is to be used for something good, not for your ego, not for tempting women, but to give your body its right, right, to take care of it properly, and to use that strength for the sake of Allah, then it's a good thing. So in summary, you do not need money and muscles to be a real man according to Islam. There were so many different types of companions, the rich, the poor, the weak, the strong, all of them were good. And what they had in common is their sincerity and their Iman and exerting effort for the sake of Allah. So if you're gonna be rich and spend like Uthman bin Affan, then great. Or if you're gonna be poor, but then you're going to narrate 5,000 hadith like Abu Huraira, then good. And if you're going to be skinny like Abdullah bin Mas'ud, then make sure your legs are as heavy as a mountain on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. The righteous companions that we follow were all good in their own way, and they didn't have to excel in every area of life to be real men. But the concept of not indulging in the dunya or not building muscles to build up your ego and status, this shouldn't be abused and be used to tell people not to aim high and contribute and build yourself for the sake of Allah. So that's the answer to the question. If you like this video and you want more similar videos like this, then there's a few recommendations here. And with that, I will say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On the edge of the fire, love is so sweet, so me.